Washing plastic waste is not a dream job for many young people in Accra. But Solomon Tete and his friends in Gamashi have found hidden opportunities in garbage collection. They call the idea trash for cash. It's a simple process after washing the dry and cut the plastic waste. After this, they sew them together to make shopping bags, wallets, pencil cases and some other stuff. But very little money is realized from this venture. Finding buyers for the bags is still a major challenge. Uh, one challenge is to um, find people who buy our bags because finding people to buy is quite difficult. It's only foreigners that when they come around, they come to buy from us. And it's quite a challenge because the youth must get money from the bags that they sell. But all these waste have taken them out of unemployment, something Solomon's university degree failed to achieve. Finding employment was quite difficult. So I sat down with some friends and we realized that um, there's a big opportunity in waste because um, realized that we have a lot of waste littering around the community and the youth are not working. So we decided to organize ourselves and try to see whether we can make some money out of um, the waste on our streets. 20 years old Ishmael Lamte is benefiting from this scheme. Every day Lamte collects plastic waste from house to house. Most times he's only able to collect two bags before he returns to one of the collection centers. Here, the plastic waste is put on a scale. If it measures up to the right weight, then Lamte gets about five cities in exchange for the trash. Lamte is happy. His hard work has paid off. He likes the job and he likes the money too. If I go and collect that plastic waste, and I can't buy, I sell it for them. I can get 80 CD, I can save 2 CD, I can spend 6 CD. So every day I use 6 CD and save 2 CD. About 40 other collectors perform similar routine daily. Each is equipped with tricycle, but through a credit scheme in the project. This makes it easy to collect a larger quantity of plastic waste. They are sold for a good price to companies that use them for raw materials. This shipment is leaving to a factory where the heap is recycled into plastic products. But that's not all that Solomon is interested in. He has donated over 1,000 plastic waste bins to schools in the community. He likes to introduce the children early to the idea of keeping the environment clean. This intervention is helping Accra Simbi Primary School to overcome the challenge of waste management. It can be very useful because we don't even have beans in the schools. So last year they brought us two. In fact, it is helping us a lot to be able to keep the environment clean. Solomon completes his day's work with a visit to this fertilizer processing plant he owns now. It's a $25,000 plant. The money to build the facility was difficult to raise. Solomon relied on support funding from the local council and NGOs. Here, food waste are turned into manure. The food waste are mostly generated by residents in the door-to-door -door program. Solomon sells the fertilizers to local farmers. Another business that fetches him money while contributing to keep his country clean. We started not quite long, so we are making something small out of it. But we expect to make it um, very big when it um, starts operating at capacity. Solomon started small about a year ago. But from the small beginning, he has his eyes on a bigger picture. He likes to own the largest pellet processing factory in Ghana. Solomon knows the challenges are high, but he won't mind going around the world.
collecting ways to achieve his dreams.